Are you one of the judges for the phone call? Yeah, I am. I'm Don Jens. Okay, this is Don Demo, on the spot reporting. We just come up here and caught this one of the judges for the Fumo Cool, my surprise. Your name is? Dawn Pence. Dawn Pence. Dawn, uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions because I always wonder, you know, how somebody gets mixed up in, in judging a Fumo Cool. Mixed up? <laughs> I volunteered. Wrong questions, Dawn, on the side. <laughs> what characteristics does it take to be a judge? Uh, I guess Strong stomach, maybe? Judging anything. I, I mean, this is, it's a sport. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not... Okay, some people might think it was just a bunch of people coming up here farting, but that's not what it is. It's a sport. And just you just have to know the rules, and you have to know the, the guidelines and everything, and uh, just like judging anything. So you weren't forced into this job, right? You kind of no, like no. I, I was fascinated when I heard about it, and I, I wondered how I could get into it. Uh, I'm a part of this. What happens if, uh, if a blowout occurs? What are you going to do then? I mean, like, can you prepare for that? Can you mentally prepare for a blowout? Well, I, mean, I guess it won't really be my problem. I mean, <laughs> it's I mean, if, the... you go, if he shits in your face, it will be. Oh, well. I don't know. That's a, <laughs> that's a dumb question. about that one, have you, though? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, do you expect a queen match, though? I mean, a queen match? I would assume that it would be clean because uh, the competitors are going to be doing their darndest not to shit in their pants because they all want to win, I would assume. Who do you think will win? Oh, I don't know. Uh, we got <laughs> we got some of the greatest farters competing in this. So, I really, I really... I couldn't, I couldn't even uh, presume to say <laughs> because this is supposed to be an objection of objective judging. You know, well I, I couldn't. Thanks for your time. Sure, no problem. This is Don Deva on the spot reporting from the live from the Fumacool 89 Arena. Right now it's pretty quiet out. When just a a couple of short days, the Fumo Cool A9 Olympics are about to take place. Some say that with the new rule changes and new scoring procedures, that the Fumo Cool just won't be what it used to be. I, for one, disagree. I think the scoring system is fair and honest, and I think the new rule changes prevent a lot of extra laundry from being done. Who will win the Fumo Cool, you might ask? It's a big question on everyone's mind. Lamar Wilkie, of course, the champion right now. But with strong competition from his fellow Fumo Coolers, Lance Brown, Dennis Rossetti, and Ken Upman. There are others also that we haven't failed to mention. And all will be vying for that special Brown Trophy. It's rumored that the EPA will protest outside our gates here that the fart in composition is destroying the ozone layer. Whether that comes to pass, we don't know. But one thing I do know is that the Fumo coach in Fumo Kulo 89, I think he can win it. It's, there's going to be a lot of pressure to it, but I think he can squeeze it out. There's, uh, there's a couple other contenders that are pretty good in this situation. Uh, let's see, there's uh, Lamar. Wilkie, uh, so Lance Brown. They got a couple new contestants too. Uh, Kim Upperman and uh, Dan Denham, I believe. I'm not sure. But uh, Fumo Kulo 89 is going to be a big experience for all those people out here that haven't had a chance to get out to the Olympics see what it's like. We're gonna, this is going to be the first time it's ever been filmed, I do believe. And I'd like to wish all my luck to the other contenders, but I'm rooting for RM1 Dennis Vicini. I think he could pull it off. It's, a, it's kind of a tough thing to do, though, to get out there and stand in front of people and be able to, to still do that competitive, have that competitive edge. Well, Lamar Wilkie won the last Fumo Kulo, and 
it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough situation for my dad to take it back from me. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go for it though. I wish all my luck to Dennis the same. Good afternoon everybody and welcome to beautiful Ishkatel, Italy. We're here for the Olympics of the 1989 Fumo Many nations are representative here. Just a few are representative on these flags here across the United States of America with their champion Lamar Wilkie. And of course the Italians are also here. But this one, my friends, this is the special flag. This is the Iranian flag. Yes, we have Iranians here. They're the biggest farts in the world. Lance Brown is their representative. <laughs> Thank you, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> we, this competition, yeah, let's hear it, yeah, the crowd is roaring, the contestants are entering the stadium. Yeah. 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 Once again, the EPA is protesting outside the front gates, uh, danger to the ozone layer, but we're not concerned with that right now. What we're concerned with is getting this started. We're a little bit behind time, we know we are, no problem. We're going to get started and get right into it, so let's go to Fumo Cool. They come from everywhere, young and old, rich and poor. They spend long hours practicing, hoping for a shot at the ground. All too often, they go home broken hearted. The agony, the ecstasy, Fumo Cool 89 is underway. <laughs> is now fixing to start the Fumo Cool off. Here we go. Look at that stand. The crowd is silent. <laughs> <laughs> Lance pulls one! He pulls one! What a beauty that was! How is that? A five or four? At least a five on there. What are they, judges? Judges, you gave him a four. Damn good. A four. For the next part, let's take a look around our crowd that we have here today. Some famous people. There's Dennis. And there's. Right there is Miss Fumo Cool, 1989, Michelle Holtz. Michelle, how you doing? And she knows she's on camera. And as we go around, there's Lamar with his classic t-shirt. And there is the hefty heavyweight champion of the world, right there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Donald Deller Jr., <laughs> the heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. He's the champion of the Fumo Kulo Youth League. It's Fumo Kulo. Lance Brown, second attempt. He lines up and there's the pitch. And oh. what a pitch it was. Woo. Yes, the crowd goes crazy. Look Woo. at these fans, how ecstatic they are. Oh. Boo. 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 Judges are pulling theirs out. <coughs> what is the score there, judges? I can't find the fault. I got Judges are pulling theirs out. And a four, a four, and a six. A four, a four, and a six. Unbelievable. Oh, thank you, Judge. Hold on, let me get those scores here on the scope. Style five. Excellent scores. Excellent scores for Lance. Uh -huh. There's a long thing actually right now here at the Fumo Cool 89. Second time you Still wait for Dennis, right. Mr. Steady Vicente. And Kim Upstar Upman to enter into the competition. Lance right now has a big lead. Lamar is close behind. There's Larry, the shit of Galswick. And we'll see how he does later on in this competition. There's Dennis looking confident. Out eating a boiled egg. Out on to do it. And eating it very slobbly. Good go get him, Dennis! The crowd is behind you. Here he comes! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's up! He's in the ring! Is this it? Is this gonna be it? Dennis, come on, Dennis! 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 The crowd yells, Dennis! 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 
upset with that marking. <laughs> well, he was under pressure too, Don. Uh, I think that uh, the crowd hadn't been urging him on. He could have worked up a good one. Yes, you're correct, Frank. You got shot. No, I'm sorry. I thought Lamar was getting in the ring. I'm sorry. My mistake. Larry is still yet to make his debut in this Fumo Cool 89. But while we got a second, let's talk to Miss Fumo Cool 1989, Michelle Holtz. Michelle? Can you step out that way a little bit? We can't get you on the team. <laughs> Michelle, how do you get involved in the Kumo Kuo 89 uh, beauty contest? Somebody gave me a map. <laughs> a classic answer, no doubt. Lamar, Lamar is behind, but look at that. Have you ever seen such determination on any one competitor? Lamar is really fighting. But it's corny here right now. And while we have a break, we want to look at, in the background there, just above Vicente's head, is the LL 600N and 600 series. Back up a little bit. Yes, the LL 600, Lops the final 600. Here we go. We're ready. Dennis is going to get in the ring. Here we go. Dennis is in the ring. No, no, no. He backs up. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing there! You're a nothing! Zero. You're a nothing! Ooh, and the crowd! Ah. And the crowd gets hostile. <laughs> and see what actually happened with Dennis's, where his floor was in his style. Here it is in slow motion. Ah, oh, there it is. That first step is the key in any Fumo Kuo. There it is. Look, the strain is not there. The, the, the neck vein is not bulging enough and uh what? And Dennis just just did not have enough air in him I guess just dejected look at that is that dejected or what the epitome look at Lawrence Lawrence is really giving them thumbs and so is Lamar oh this the crowd was really really uh Unforgivable. Unforgiving. <laughs> but he's, oh, it's the golf swing. It's it's Johnny Carson. It's the Johnny Carson fart. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. No, he blows it. He blows it. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, goodness. Jesus, the back straight like that. Unbelievable. Where's our score? Our score. Says triple. Zero. No, oh, game three. Three for style. No, three no, for zero. style. Three, huh? Total zero. What's the official ruling on that? Yeah, and Miss Dawn Pitt says it doesn't count <coughs> unless it farts. No, nope. zero, zero. She says. Very rarely do you see two non-farts. Oh, Hold on, Lamar's in the ring now. The Here's Lamar. Oh, he gets low. He gets low. He's coming up. Ooh, he's straining. Look at that strain. He's straining. He's straining. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! Give it to we, ha we have to remind the audience that they can't make any noises while the people is farting. It was me today. I know. Get your paper out of there. What's the score? One. A one. A, one, a two. Oh, yeah. For a total of 1.5. Not that great score, but but look at the camaraderie here. These these men are not enemies in any way, and nothing the paper says. Marvelous. Well, Dennis, fool the cameraman. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes left in the quarter. Yep. Thirty minutes left in the quarter. Well, Lance is stepping into the ring. He comes back. A short one, but a sweet one. <laughs> All right, I'll put it in me. <laughs> and we get the score. 
Oh, Dennis is in the ring, and he caught me by surprise. Say that does count, even though Dennis didn't wait for for Lance to score. Sometimes you just can't wait. <laughs> but waiting for the score is he over there? Is the score? Scores, over? Scores oh, he's working. Scores, on it. I'm sorry. Still being computed. Sophisticated. Yes, the Seiko, the Seiko. Uh, Fart counter. <laughs> The FS. This is more fun than a ball game. I think I'm going to stay. Now, here's the scores. Here's the scores. Wait a second. Who's this? 2 1 1. Who's that? Me. That's Lance's. Lance? And then Dennis. Holy cow. On the spot reporter, we're out back of the Hotel Iscatella. And right now, you are viewing the premiere of Italy. He's here with the Brown Peace protest, trying to determine for himself what exactly um, what the status is of the Fumo Kulo. And we'll be getting back to him in a little while. We're out back, like I said, in the Hotel Iscatella, and we're here with the Brown Peace people, and they're protesting the Fumo Kulo 89 that's going on in this hotel. And with the claims that it's them damaging to the ozone layer. And we'll have more to report in a minute. We're expecting the parliament to convene and uh, get their decision from there in just a little bit. How do you move this thing, Lamar? How do you get it to move up? <laughs> get away. There's a spectator right there. I'll move the camera. There's a spectator. See him up there? That is the president of the Fumo Kuo International Committee. Yeah, he's monitoring it, Dave, and uh, he's giving it ass right now. He's doing He's, he seems oh, he's giving us his thumb ups, I think, isn't he, Frank? Yeah. Wasn't that a thumbs up? <laughs> he's sure uh, was. You're on film, Steve. You're on tape. Smile, you're on candy camera. All right. Looks good to me. I think he's approving yes. of, uh, of this Fumo Kuro. He's, he's definitely with. I think that last one was for uh, Dennis's double. Like trouble for the champion Lamar. Don, are you gonna get over here and vote or what? Yeah. Get over here. Here's the score. Four and a half. Excellent oh. score. And there's Miss Pence, the lady we saw the other day, one of the judges. And there's Miss Upperman. We're still waiting on her. Oh, you yes, Den and Dennis is coach. Look, look at the pride beaming Dennis. from his lips. You know, Dave, I think Dennis is obviously pleased with that last part. Michael Vicenity is so happy for his father right now. He's uh, going over some uh, He just cannot get out of the way, Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence, uh, congratulations. Oh, here's Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence is in the ring. going to make it. Another goal. Oh, Lance Brown. Yeah. With the mighty golf swing. It was a little yeah. premature. It was more in the backswing than the it's follow through. Yeah. Follow through. But Not here's the score. But it does get a good score for Thank you, Miss Trent. That was like a good one. Donna White. <laughs> <laughs> Lance is proud of that one after yeah. bombing yeah. out on the last I'm one. back in the game. He smoked it back. Uh, Fantastic. This is, no, I can't get him. Yeah. Steroids. It's been a, not fair. It's been a proclamation here. Michael Vicente has made a proclamation. Michael, you can't repeat that, please. Uh, I think that Lamar's shirt is going to be taken off by tonight. No way. Wow. No way. Dennis Hard was word, sure but Lamar says, says no. Three quarters to go. I'm in it. Lamar says, I'll come back. <laughs> what competition? <laughs> Okay. Well, we have a little in the action. One more out to keep the six. Hold on. Am I in the center of it? Yeah. This is the Fumo Kulo jacket that I wore in my defense bid in the 1975 Fumo Kulo. And I'm very proud to wear it. Red Devil, yeah! This is a champion here, folks. Wilkie's on the mat. Everybody here it is. Here it is. He's going to shoot. He's going to shoot from the hip. Get that? Oh, I didn't get that one. Get it off. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, we didn't hear that one. I was preoccupied. Yeah, he gets. Here's the score. She's prejudiced. She's and prejudiced. And the score is a two. A two. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, the crowd doesn't like that, though. The crowd definitely does not agree with that score. Yeah. Go, on, Lamar. Huh? Keep going. Last time Lamar did this, he really pulled off a big one. He's yeah, warming up again. <laughs> He's flexing his glorious Maximus. He's exercising. His glorious Maximus. The buttocks. <laughs> Michael Vicini, the trainer for Dennis Vicini. Re reconstructive surgery. Knows all the last too well about flexing. <laughs> well, we got a little in the action. Let's talk to one of our competitors. This is Dennis Cossaboom. Dennis is known as the granddad of all Fumokuo due to the fact of his age. Dennis was the champ in 61 and 62 for McCool before and then again in 68 before I took over in 71 through uh, 79. Dennis, it's good to see you. That's good to see you too, Dad. Uh, you're really out there. I'll tell you, I had to give up my career because of my prostate. What about, how about you? How's everything <laughs> holding up? You know, I really do think that that prostate gland is a problem. I think we have... Everybody be quiet. Camera's on. Lance oh! goes for us. Let's get the score on that before we go back to our interview. <laughs> no. And the score. Oh. Yeah. 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 A six! Yeah. I'm sorry, folks. This recorded. I agree with that one. Uh, one of my toughest competitors, uh, but we did have fun. Didn't we? Oh, we had a blast. I remember 62. Oh, God, don't tell that story uh, on TV. I don't think... I just beat you by, what, three points? Yeah, yeah, uh, three points. But I 60... was heartbroken that year. Uh, I, I was elated. What, this, and what was it, 66 you came back? Yeah, it took me that long to recover from that close loss. Uh, I hear it was the surgery. The surgery is what really helped you. <laughs> yeah. No, what it was was the, the feeling of revenge trying to build up in me, and then I said, you know, I, I uh, saved up for that one year, you know? Oh, that one. Yeah. That one fart. I took that first the 65 off, and then 66 uh, I came back. But I, I remember your opening fart in 66. Oh, yeah. When I smoked the judges out? Oh, jeez. Oh, was that something else? What I think really got the judges was that the curtain was moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that was that was before this newer yeah, the newer new rules, new rules where we could hold them indoors. Yeah. I think holding the Fumakulo indoors was the best. Yeah, it looks like something in the outdoor air. It, it just doesn't give you the smell, it doesn't give you no, the feeling, you no. know, what's going on. Well, their scoring has changed, too. Yeah, They just went from sound to style yeah. instead of sound, style, and yeah. smell. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, that's tough. These new kids. Yeah. These new kids have got a tougher We all tougher guys job. know how the how the old days were. Oh, they were. Well beautiful. Dennis, it was I nice seeing you, you again. It was good seeing it you was, again. Oh, it was great. Good luck and to you in the film will cool. You too. All right, thanks, Dennis. That's Don Demmer. Back to you, Dave. Okay, here we go. We're ready. Concentration now. Concentration now. Concentration is on. Here it is. Pumping it up there, Dave. Lower extremities are really bolting. He's getting ready. I'm going to see his overalls uh, bulging out from the uh, He's getting ready. pockets of air in there. Is there a time limit it on this, I wonder? There's a time limit. Put your hand. He's in the ring. There he goes. Oh. Hey! Oh. Oh. The timing on that time. Very timing. good. Very good. Dennis. That was all right. Was one of the best ones I've ever seen. That was a nice one, Dave. It was nice. That, Frank? That it was, was nice. It was clean. It was concise. I believe the workup was wrong. It looks like it's going to score a five from the judges. Oh, five, yes. man. Yes. That was a good, good five. Good five. Good score. Good score. And the crowd liked it. The crowd agreed with that one. I got quantity, guys. What's happening here? All right, let's say anybody that gets over six, somebody bring them frozen to them. Thank you. Oh. He doesn't do it again. Dennis, two times now. Five. I don't want that all far. Like double my money. Oh. We're talking to one of the fans here. Why did you come to Fumaco? Well, uh, my name is Butch and I'm from New York and uh, I just came for the food. Like, you know, I heard they were having taco salad and uh, we don't get much of that in New York. So uh, I came by and I wanted to get some, you know what I mean? 
Yes, Butch, thank you. Go get some. Oh, okay, uh, like, uh, thanks, uh, you know. Uh, and here's another fan. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Manuel. Manuel, how are you doing? I'm Manuel. Manuel, uh, do you speak English? I'm Manuel. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, go help yourself with some taco salad. Thank you. <laughs> Three cucumbers. Matt's giving some okay. dietary and instructions to Dennis. By the time I got here, I've already blown about ten just to get here. Dennis, of course, being the man he is, way. taking it with a grain of salt. <laughs> a little competitive. What do you think about that, Dennis? Well done. I'm glad you asked me that. Uh, as usual, uh, in your normal Fumokubo contest, uh, Everybody talks a lot of shit, and I'm a lot of it right now. Hey, they don't talk it, Dennis. They do it. I'll get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. That was <laughs> hindering. Whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I missed Lance. I'm sorry, Lance. I wasn't. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, seven. Seven. No way, Jose. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, but no, not that good. Yeah, power and resonance. Seven. Seven. Shit, I'd say be, maybe a It's going to be tough to beat Lance McCoy. <laughs> this is Don Demi on the spot report outside. Look, on the back side of the Hotel Mystery Tower where the Puma Puma 89 is going on inside. These people out here. Go, go, go. Pound boy. peace. They're protesting the Hotel Mystery the Fumo Kuo saying it damages the ozone layer. We're going to hear from Paul in a minute. The premier of Italy is here. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna. He's trying to get uh, as much information as he can about the Fumo Kuro before he decides on our visa or our passport. And here's the rose presentation. Thank you very much. And a kiss. <laughs> and this, this is the only man I have to worry about in this competition. Lamar Whoa! Got another blow! Another blow to Lamar's ego. And Lamar's getting up! Look out! Oh, Lamar He's, he's a broken you, man. He broke his heart. Do you have any brown roses? He hasn't, he hasn't got it in him. <laughs> he broke his I just heart. I want to thank my mother and father for giving me life and being up here in this competition. All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd appreciates. Mm -hmm. The camaraderie here. Dennis is getting ready. Here it is. Dennis does the shake and booty. Ho! Oh! oh, it's still coming out. Unbelievable. Yes, <laughs> Woo! What a fart that was. That was nice. What a fart that was. That one was worth the six. Here is the score. Right. Score right. is another six, and Dennis gets another flower. <laughs> God, there you go. How oh, sweet. There you go. Give it to Dennis. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm taking a part. And Jeremy. Oh, you can have it. I'm on. Did you have that one right there? Yes, I did. The flower child, okay. Jeremy. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen. Ron Costable has something to say. Waiting. Dennis Costable. Quarter is over. Quarter is over. Oh. We now have the standings. Dentist. Dennis Vincent. Dentist. He has a total of 16.5. Woo! Lance Brown, 39.5. Whoa, oh my gosh. Hey! And now, <laughs> oh, you wasted it. Lamar will be, is trailing the pack with 6.5. Oh, a Lamar. look of dejection. Way to but, go, man. this is only the first quarter, Full and they camp. still chant. Stand a chance, every one of them, Look, of winning Fumo Kuro 89. Yay! Premier of Italy is leaving, as you can see. I, I, hold on a second. We just got word from Parliament. They had a special meeting about the Fumo Kuro. They have revoked our visas. The police are standing by right up there to escort us out of the country. So, this is Don Demi on the spot report. Until next time, so long from Fumo Kuro 1989. This is Don Demi on the Spot Reporter, and we're here live from the beautiful Geneva, where the Fumo Kuro A9 is about to resume.
Don Demi on the Spot Reporter coming to you live from Geneva, Switzerland. The Fumo Cool 89 is about to take place after we got kicked out of Italy. Uh, our passports were revoked, our visas were revoked, and we had to flee the country. All the members are here except for one, Lance Brown, will not be here, or is not here as of yet. He, uh, last we heard, he was being detained at the airport for carrying baked beans, which they thought were bombs, into the country. So, but the Pumakula has to start, because Geneva, uh, the Geneva officials have only given us a certain amount of time to get it done and to get out of the country. Uh, the show, though, that we are not completely alone in our stand to have the Fumokuo. Uh, I'd like to show you a t-shirt that the Navy Wise <laughs> Clubs of America <laughs> gave me <laughs> not too long ago with their full support. And um, so we're going to get ready and we'll be right back with the Fumo Kuro 89. This is Don Demi on the spot reporter. Uh, we're here live at the convention center in Geneva and we're um, interviewing one of the judges here. Hands, quotation marks, Ike, off of me. Hans, I mean, Ike, I mean, how's everything? Not bad, not bad. They tell me we're looking forward to a great competition here today. Sure are, uh, yeah. You know, we got kicked out of Italy. How do the people in Geneva feel about the contest? Uh, they seem to have mixed feelings. Uh, some are very accepting and some have their reservations. As I understand it, there is a time limit though on the Fumo Kuo. Yes, there? there is. In order to get them to allow you in the country, we had to agree to be out in a very short given amount of time. Okay. Hans, uh, I mean, I, I'm sorry. Pardon me. How does the scoring work? Well, I see you have the rules there in front of you. You just Certainly took over, didn't uh, you? Yeah. There seems to be quite a few regulations involved. Basically, the rules are the same as they were when we were in Italy. Um, you know, the scoring and everything, so that's pretty much the same. Well, Hans, I can mean, it was good meeting you. And good you. Luck, good judging. Thank you. Don Demi on the spot report. Now back to you, Dave. I'm back. Here it is. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. The old zipper fart. Yeah, and the crowd goes crazy. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! All right, great. Now let's go to the judges' table for the score. A five. Ike says a five. Okay, great. Woo! Fantastic. And now we're waiting for Dennis Vicente to get his first shot. But while we're waiting, let's talk about Lance. Lance has not shown up as of yet. We called the airport, but they will not give us any information, so we have to wait. Okay, we'll be right back right after this commercial break. Hold on, hold on, before we go. No, no, we got a little bit there. A three, we got a three. Okay, so in just two short minutes, a little more. Okay, we're live again here in Geneva, and there you see a view of the beautiful downtown Geneva. Just a couple of buildings I'd like to point out to you. That one right there in particular is the uh, schoolhouse, and uh, it's kind of small. It goes from grades 1 through 12, but they only can have one kid per class. And out there, if you can see that tower from here, that is the Geneva Airport. That's where Lance is being detained at this time. And we still don't know what the status is of Lance is at the moment. The authorities will not tell us anything. Okay, let's get back to more Fumo Kulu. <laughs> <laughs> He's in defeat. Lamar could not come up with it. The poor day gave him a false sense of uh, of gas. And dejectedly, Lamar sits down again. Stupid camera. Okay. okay. Keep from being disqualified. You know that you just had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, Don, uh, I wasted about four good ones in there. Yeah. If I hadn't gone now. It would, would have been all over, huh? Yeah, yeah. But that's what we discussed. So, well, we're rooting for you, Dennis. Right? Uh, that. That's good. That's it's, good. It's the elevation up here, I think, has something to do. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, the pressure is not is greater. Geneva, right now, Geneva is being repainted, and when it is done, 
it should look just like <laughs> that Geneva is being repainted and when it is done it should look like this picture right here so um, let's get back to the Fumo Kuro okay, now we're getting ready Lamar <laughs> <laughs> standing, <laughs> standing there <laughs> You almost lost that one. <laughs> Here it is. Couldn't do it again the second. Alright. Before we get on the spots this morning, reporting, I'm here in the house of Lamar Wilkin. Lamar is the champion for Mokuo. Lamar, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Don. It's quite an honor uh, to meet somebody such as yourself. Uh, and I got your game, your playing card somewhere in the house oh. back in the black and white days. Oh, we don't need to bring that out. I have to get you to sign yeah. it before you leave. Though. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I'd like to show you something before we start. This is a farometer. It measures the the uh, pressure of hearts in psi. Lamar here has hit sixty before. Excuse me. <laughs> seventy. Lamar has been seventy. Yeah, 70. Beautiful. Lamar has oh, broken man. his own record. Get ready. Sorry about that, folks. It's Can't hold them all. It's part of the game. Lamar, I'd also like to show you something else. This syringe here is used for anabolic steroids. It was the uh, moment that you used them during your last competition. No, no, no. They, they used this on me, and uh, I didn't appreciate it at all. Um, the... Uh, the whole allegations of my using anabolic steroids is uh, just that it's an allegation from other people who are trying to just get me out of the competition to take the lead. Uh, all my farts are pure and natural, uh, no artificial ingredients of any kind. Yes, they usually accuse me of taking too much prune juice. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's back when, you know, that taking was, the shit wasn't was illegal. Yeah, yeah, that was the old days. Okay, well, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Sure. How has your life changed since you won the title? Well, I'm lonelier as far on a social level. There's not too many women who understand that the importance and uh, prestige of being uh, a you know a farting champion. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> other than that, it's basically on an internal thing uh, besides the endorsements. Um, just being on the level of what I call the masters, uh, Gus. Uh, guess, the Gas Augustine, yourself, uh, Charlie Anderson, just to, to be mentioned in the same sentence as these guys is, is enough for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mark, what led you into the Fumo Kuo profession? Well, actually, it's more of my destiny. Uh, as a child, uh, my parents would take me to the doctor uh, because of flatulence mm -hmm. problems. But, uh, and it wasn't until uh, I was almost out of high school that I realized that. Uh, they were actually forming competitions nationwide, and uh, my parents didn't like it too much. But uh, I said, "Look, this, this is what I'm best at, and uh, these guys are going to be making money." Mm -hmm. So I figured, as soon as I was in the, the age bracket where I could start competing, I did, and I hadn't really regretted it. What motivates you now that you're the champ? What motivates you to go on, to continue on? Is it just a championship again, or is it something else in your life? Uh, there is something else. I mean, <clears throat> being the Fumo Kulo champion, is, once you're on top, there's the only way down is down. Uh, my only last goal, I think, as far as the championship goes, is uh, winning this first international competition. Mm -hmm. uh, I think once I've done that, I'm going to devote a lot of my time and efforts helping the uh, underprivileged kids down in the ghettos and. Uh, a lot of potential down there for some uh, good fart champions. I'm going to put in a lot uh, helping those guys get out of there. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Is it true, despite your status, that your mother still does your laundry for you? She say that. No, no. That uh, she used to back before I got kicked out of the house. Um, she did that, but I've been doing uh, my own laundry for a while. It's gotten a little cleaner since uh, they said that. Uh, you know, shit and right, disqualify. Yeah, that so it's, uh, I, I, mean, I never liked that rule. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I do my own laundry now. She used to, but it's all me. Okay. One last question then. What are your predictions and where do you think your most competition will come from during the Fumo Kuro? If I was to narrow it down to one person, 
it'd probably be Lance Brown. Yeah. The guy has got his power farts together. Um, but I got to look at Dennis Vicini. His freestyle is 100%. He's got uh, everything down to a science. Kim Upperman, I've heard about her training sessions. She is uh, going to be a force to be reckoned with too, as long as uh, the other uh, contestants that will be there. Uh, I'll be looking out for Lance pretty much, so if I can beat him, I think I've got it. Well, Amar, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, Congratulations you, on the championship, and good luck and good fighting to you during the next Olympics. Thanks a lot, Don. This is Don Dell from On The Spot Sports. Back to you, Dave. All right, that was the interview with Lamar Wilker. We also interviewed Dennis Vicente earlier this week also. Um, so, if we get that tape on there, and let's go to that interview. Uh, Dennis Vicente, known as Mr. Steady. Dennis, it's nice to have you on the show. How are you today? Don, it's, it's good to be here. And uh, I can't tell you what an honor it is to be next to one of the greats such as yourself. Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I ask you some questions, Dennis? Well, Go ahead and shoot them. Okay. It's been rumored that you accepted many, much money while in high school. It's been rumored that you accepted money while in high school for Fumo Kula activities. Any truth to this rumor? Don, those allegations have been going around for some time now. Don. I have been cleared by the Fumokuo Committee. And Don, let me go ahead and get, get the record straight. What it is, Don, is back in 1969, in high school, senior year, my senior year, we had uh, Mexican Day at the cafeteria, me and my friends man, and after lunch, we went into the uh, bathrooms to, to have a cigarette. While we were playing, or smoking, excuse me, while we were smoking cigarettes, we were also uh, pitching pennies. And at the time, all of us had a great deal of gas also. And apparently they're accusing me that we were accepting money when I was picking up the pennies. Yeah, that's all there is to it. it like I say, it's been clear. Yeah, it happened to me one time also, but we'll get into that's another story. That's from a cool, you came in a distant third. Has that performance had a psychological effect on you? <laughs> Not at all, Don. It was an off day. I'd been in some really intensive training. Uh, my coach, uh, Michael Desenne, has been, he's been really strenuous. And That's your son, Michael Desenne? Yes, my son. He's, he's also my coach and trainer. I, uh, I owe a lot to him. It was just too strenuous of training, and I just wore myself out. Some say that's because you steadily fall short of number one. Any comments to your critics? <laughs> Again, the steady, uh, the problem is, uh, I've been called steady for a long time because uh, girls, I can't find a girl to go steady with no. in, such a, in a heavy competition with Pumokula. That's, that's good, that's good. That, yeah, it's tough, I know. Uh, who do you think will give you the most trouble Saturday? Don, to be honest with you, it's going to be some serious uh, competition. I frankly think that the heavy favorite right now is Lamar Wilkie. However, I think uh, uh, Kimberly Upperman, who's been a sleeper this season, I have a feeling that uh, she's going to be the one to contend with Saturday. The rage is a major concern, Dennis. Is this your last year on the circuit? Don, I've been asked that for a few years now. Uh, my family has requested me more than once to go ahead and end the season, but I'll tell you what, Don, I think this asshole still got a few more farts in him. Well, Dennis, I just want to wish you lots of luck and uh, good farting to you. And Same. I hope to see you on the championship stand, it's baby. nice having you over. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's our interview with Dennis Vicente and Mr. Steady coming up in the upcoming Fumo Cole 89 championship. This is Don. Okay, Lamar's back. He's ready. Here we go. And that's it. Okay. A two again. All right. A two for Lamar. Well, trying to get back on track now. Trying to get back on track. We pan and we see Dennis Vicente sitting there. Dennis. Uh, I don't. 
looks kind of low. So uh, Dennis's coach Michael could not make it because uh, he could not get his passport on time. The Italian authorities let him stay in Italy, um, but Dennis had to leave because Michael wasn't a uh, participant in the Fumo Cool, only a coach. Now Dennis wishes he was here because uh, I think uh, he's really having troubles. It might have had a psychological effect on Dennis not to have his coach standing next to him. Okay, let's go back to the ring. Right now we're still waiting. Japan, Lamar. Feels to me that he got that little one out. Even though it's a little one, it's a start. Kind of like hitting a baseball. First you foul it off and then you hit it. So let's go. And then you see the Iranian flag, of course, uh, once again, uh, to re re reiterate what we said earlier, Lance Brown has been detained at the airport, the Iranian representative for the Fumokuro, and uh, we don't know when he'll be here, if he'll be here at all. They might send him back out of the country. And it's a shame because he was winning when we left Italy, and I'm sure he'll be depressed if he does not win the Fumokuro. And while we're waiting, Let's take a look at the medal that these men are vying for. The Fumo Kuro, the most prestigious prize in today's world of uh, big making, big money. These men play for almost nothing. Maybe some pizza now and then. Dennis <laughs> right, is getting up. Dennis is up. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dennis. Woo! And even I got that one. Oh, a five. Unbelievable. Get out of the way, Dennis. A five. Great. Fantastic. Dennis gets on the scoreboard, and he is elated about that, aren't you, Dennis? I'm, uh, I'm excited. Yeah, like I said, the elevation helped a lot. That's really, that's, I'm, I'm really excited. Please. Great. Fantastic. Well, we might have some good <coughs> competition here after all. Okay. Okay, back in the Fumo Kuro again. That last one that Dennis did, boy. I, I thought I heard some liquid there, but he checked his pants right afterwards, and, and it was a clean fart, if there is such a thing. <laughs> and uh, so he's not, you know, that's not his first warning, so he still has two warnings, I mean, two uh, chances. Um, it was a great one, though, you know, really, really brought him back into the competition. A short musical interlude here at the Fumo Kuro as we wait for another contestant to step up. It's been a good competition thus far and uh, things are a little bit slow right now, but uh, I think the mental, the mental capacity, not the capacity, the mental state of these two young men is a little bit wearied because of what happened in Italy and uh, we're still trying to get back there, believe it or not, and uh, have another Fumo Kuro down there. But it might be difficult. They were really pretty mad at us, and they really did kick us out. Okay, we're waiting now. And while we're waiting, let's go to an interview with Lance Brown. Buzz reporting. We're at the poolside at the Hotel Iscatel, the site of the 1989 Fumo Kumu Olympics. I'm here, Lancelot Brown, one of the contestants in the Fumo Kuro. Lance, good to see you. Nice meeting you, Don. Good to see you. Okay. That's I have to ask you a few questions, if I may. Sure, go ahead. Okay. The last one cool, you were so close yet so far. Do you have any new strategies this year? Well, Don, uh, just a few things I want to add to my diet. Uh, I wasted a, a couple outside the ring last time. Only lost by a quarter of a point. That was a little bit uh, disappointing, but I think this time I'll be able to clinch it. Uh, Lamar has posted that he will win, uh, or that he will be the champ again. How do you feel about that? Well, Don, I don't think he's uh, got much of a prayer this time. Like I said, uh, I wasted one outside the ring, and uh, that would have surely clinched it for me. But uh, as, as I did last time, I'm going for the power, and uh, in my book, I'm going to blow him away. I meant to mention that Lance is called a powerhouse due to the length and sound of his farts. Uh, how did you get involved in the Fumo Kuro? I mean, it's not something that you just, you know, 
or you don't see it on TV? I mean, how'd you hear about it? How'd you find out about it? Well, no, that's kind of a holdover from high school and college, but uh, up until this last event, uh, I've been a quiet bystander. Mm -hmm. But uh, a couple of guys came by and said, hey, I think you stand a chance. So uh, I went in, I gave it my best shot, and uh, that quarter point, it's a disappointment, but uh, I'm going to give it all the best of this time. Great. Cool. It's been rumored that the, uh, the toilet paper companies of America are backing you. Is that true? Well, Don, I haven't had any uh, phone calls or anybody coming to me and saying, uh, be our uh, brand sponsor selectee. So, uh, no, up till this point in time, there's nobody that's given me any sponsorship. Uh, if you win the promo call, how would it affect your lifestyle? Well, other than the prestige, uh, I don't think very much. I mean, it, since I am first runner-up from the last competition, people have looked at me in, in a different frame of mind. And uh, my peers and everybody, they look up to me. So uh, there's a lot of writing on this. And, and being first runner-up, uh, it's going to make me want to try all that much harder to be the champion this time. So uh, it's not really going to change me that much, but uh, I definitely will be pleased when I walk out with that new medal. Well, Lance, it was good talking to you. I wish you good luck and good party in your competition. Well, thanks for the well wish. This is Don Demo for Honor Spot Sports. Back to you, Dave. We're always doing this exercise. Remember last time, uh, to refresh your memory, we went back to the Fumacolo in Italy, and uh, when Ma did his exercise, boy, he really cut some big ones. It takes a lot of training, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of guts and a lot of hard work to be a Fumacolo contestant. Oh, did you see those arms? Yeah, Frank, oh, those arms, uh, that's, that's typical Fumacolo. I mean, that's professionalism right there. The arm, the way the arms have to pull back right at the correct moment to force the air out of the abdominum into the bowels and out the um, gluteus maximus. Yes, Omar really knows how to work out. The ring, here it is. Yeah! Oh, and a gala, and a people here, and what's he get? What is that? A four, okay. A four given by the judges, and Lamar with a sign of relief on his face. Here comes Dennis. You know, we all look at that. Oh, oh, that's what that's what this sport is all about. The camaraderie between these guys is is uh, unbelievable. Here's Dennis. He steps up there. Squeeze there, Dave. <laughs> it is an emotional moment here at the Fumo Kulo. <laughs> the fans are all crying. It was such a beautiful sight. <laughs> this is Don Demo. I'm talking with Dennis Vicente right now. Dennis, congratulations. In case you didn't see it, Dennis, it's just like. A beautiful seven go, and it was just excellent. And I mean, Dennis, in all the years that I was a Fumo Kulo champ, I have never seen one quite like that. That was excellent. Well, thank you, Don. Uh, it's something that me and my coach have been working on for a while now, and uh, I feel we pretty well for that here. Uh, I appreciate that. Especially for you. Yeah. It took a little bit of time to get going, but. Yeah, it lasts a little bit longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be quick. I, I had to get my timing right when I did the twirl. But then I noticed that there was a lot more gas in there than I thought, so I had to slow down my twirl, which threw me off. That was just a hair. But I think it came out real well. It did. Well, Dennis, 
Good luck. Thank you, Dan. Good job. Don Dan, you're on the spot before. Back to you, Dave. Dennis is trying again. Oh no, I can't do this one. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, Dennis was in a serious state of uh, almost, <laughs> yeah, that too, of almost giving up his one free shit. And uh, not sure, but I for him, he didn't. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is Don Demon. We're back again. And we just got word from the, uh, the meteorologist here in Geneva that uh, Dennis has far registered a six on the Richter scale and. Uh, that's uh, considered a mid, mid uh, dangerous earthquake. So Dennis was really lucky to escape with his ass that time. Okay, let's go to Ike for the official ruling on that Fumo Cool. Hold on, hold on. Lamar's well, getting ready. Here it is, horse. Yeah, all right. Lamar well, gets on the scoreboard and gets a three out of it. That's not bad. Okay, Ike, let's ask. Uh, our judge, uh, was Dennis uh, guilty of his first infraction of the rules, Ike? Uh, no, we've determined that he aborted the fart in time to save himself from an infraction. Okay. There was no score on it. So he still has one warning left? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you. All right, you heard it here first, folks. All right, let's break for a commercial. You know, Ike, there's a lot of heavy ups going on on the net right now. No kidding. I heard that uh, one of the SKs are sitting there saying they're sending a lot of dry milk, so you know they've been out of seed for a while. They're going to have to pull one eventually. <laughs> Suppose so. So, you know, old uh, Don's hitting it kind of hard over there tonight. Yeah, it might not be a good idea to let him drive home. You know what, Ike? I think you're right. I think I'm going to maybe take him home tonight. Let me Let's go over. See if we can arrange him a ride. I think you're right. I'm going home. Hey, Don? What? Hey, listen, it's you all right, right? Man? You want a drink? Well, Don, we got to go to work tomorrow, and maybe, I think it's four in the morning now, and we got to be there in two hours. I think we better go home now, huh? All right, all right. All right. No, that's all right. I just go crash in my car. You sure you don't want me to drive you? Positive. I'll just go crash. It's all oh, right. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Don. I'm going to get a beer for you. Well, you can take it with you. I got one. Thank okay. <laughs> Gee, Don, thanks for the party. It's been really great. Careful, Don. Thank you for the party. I'm just gonna go crash. I'm proud of you, but you look okay. Ciao. I'm alright. Eh, I don't need no seat belt either. Eat that little hole. Okay, I got it. his last beer and then Jesus Christ what happened hey are you okay are you okay call 911 he's gone man why did he drink I knew we shouldn't have let him drive you should never let your friends drink and drive but if you're going to drink may as well <laughs> try your beer road. spin it Basic, drink, 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 four. drink, 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 for the corner. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Dennis says a comment over here. Dennis says no death. Death. <laughs> death. <laughs> okay. Lamar's farts are short but sweet. Dennis' farts are long and stinky.
This is back again. Kenny matches last performance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know that look. I know that look. He's afraid of shitting. He's really afraid. <laughs> he walks away in disgust. He is just not happy if he can't do it. He gets up there, he gets everybody hyper, and then he fails. He's back. I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> no, he's really gonna go take a shit. He's not joking. Take the toilet paper. Wait a second, that's a scorecard. Don't wipe it on the scorecard. Oh, there's a scorecard on the table. Okay. All right. Is there a chance of judging this while I'm in there taking a dump? Because uh, I don't know. no, I don't believe that's in the rules. It's gotta be in the ring. Then it's depressed. Rules are rules, though. Then it's a just let out of an eight, but unfortunately, he let it out in the bathroom, so it does not count. And so Lamar breathes a sigh of relief. <sighs> and now back to the ring. You shit your pants. No, no he said if he does, he does. He's not giving up again. Right, you, you see here that one? I knew that would have been a goodie. <laughs> Saucer. But would you have shit your pants? I don't care. <laughs> Look at this appointment on Dennis's face. Hi, Mom. Here we go. Yeah! Oh! He's not finished yet! Fantastic! Absolutely fantastic! He really was pissed. <laughs> a seven! Oh my goodness! Dennis has really put a big margin between himself and Lamar. A classic song for the Fumo Kuo. This is called When the Shit Hits the Fan. Do you think you wop wop say what again? I'm gonna fade it out, but leave the, leave the sound on. We just get by. Mars in there one. and a two. two. Another two. In the ring and the crowd is waiting in anticipation. Ho! <laughs> Again, another seven. If he doesn't have to go to the hospital, he's gonna win. Oh, let's see. He has expurgated all of his air. <laughs> Lamar is just, just overly impressed. Hey, this, oh, what, what camaraderie. Is this man been checked for anal body steroids? I mean, all uh -oh. of a sudden this guy. The accusations, accusations fly. But Dennis denies every one of them, don't you, Dennis? Don't no, we don't that. deny him? Yeah, let's check. Yes, you it's do. It's not my generation's trip, though. No. Okay, he's not into drugs. Finally, he's still being detained at the airport. Again, the authorities here will not give us any information on why he's... But well, we know why, because he's trying to smuggle baked beans in the country and they thought it was bombs. But why they're holding him so long, uh, we don't know. And, and Lance, you know, had the lead here at the end of the first quarter. But now, here in the third quarter, he's missed the whole quarter already. And the way Dennis is going, he might as well hang it up. Well, as Mar goes, it's going to take a lot of twos to catch up to Dennis. I figure 1-7 is worth almost four twos. So Lamar would have to be really constantly farting <laughs> to catch up. <laughs> I believe uh, Lamar is at least behind by 12 points at the time, maybe even more. So, uh, well, Dennis had two, yeah, not 14 points. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Dennis is just... I don't know, tearing up the tearing up his uh, his rectum. Some people ask uh, if the fumo cool hurts you. I say, it don't hurt you, it wrecks you. <laughs> you know how football players and baseball players and basketball players, when they win their championship, they always have some kind of rap song that they all make up. Well, the fumo cool contestants are no different. And right now, Dennis Rossini is going to sing for us his song called. Sitting on a shed. Sitting on a shed. Take it away, Dennis. 
Sitting on a shit and feeling kind of bitter Hadn't taken a shit all day My, my, my Without a fucking tear that you probably heard Yeah, man, was that okay? So I wiped my ass Slow your nose, my favorite brand of Z When my hand got stuck up my butt now I'm getting disability, disability. disability. Believe it, I'm getting disability. For just taking a shit, disability. But wouldn't it be so fun? I get back that hand of mine. Da 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 da. Hey! Thank you, Dennis. Thank you very much. Now back to you, Dave. Dennis is real. Oh, look at Ike. He is really upset. That is a disgusting thing. Oh, he is pissed off. Dennis is leaving the ring right now. And Ike is too disgusting to look at the camera. Oh, look what he did to the wall. Oh, the Iranian flag. I hope the Ayatollah Khomeini don't look at this thing. Look at that all over the wall. Unbelievable. All over the Iranian flag. Lance is here. He'd be pissed. <coughs> Unbelievable. Dennis, Dennis, what happened, Dennis? Tell us. I don't know, it's just a lot of pressure build up. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen. I, like I said earlier, I think this elevation has a lot to do with being up here this high. And to all those sevens, you finally blew it, huh? I gotta, I gotta go into the gym and change pants. Okay, me. Dennis. I'll be back. Sorry. <laughs> this is our first warning. And Lamar gets to clean up the mat. No, he's not cleaning it up. <laughs> oh, as you can see here, what Dennis did on the Iranian flag. What happens is in the football school, after so many farts, your your um, rectum starts to open up, and then all the stuff that is usually held back starts coming through, and that's what happened here. The the pressure, for one thing, of course, is is the big concern. Too much pressure builds up, and it and it just smokes it out, and the uh, uh, it's worse than like having an enema, you know, it just blows it all out, and uh, that's what happened to Dennis, and that's his first warning, so he needs to be careful. Okay, back to you, Dave. Just ask me if I can tell the people what happened. We're here with the Judge Ike. Ike, can you tell the people what happened out there? Well done. I've seen this happen a lot of times in competitions like this. Sometimes the, the training and all the hours of practice just aren't quite enough and the sphincter muscle just can't hold up to the pressure. Absolutely. You seem pretty pissed. Uh, you calm down now? Uh, yeah, I, you understand these things do happen, mm -hmm. but it's never something you expect. And right. Yeah. It is a little disgusting. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, I thank you. Okay, now back upstairs to Dave. <laughs> okay, <laughs> back at the Fumo Coolo. And there you see the evidence of what Dennis has done. As we wait, Ike is now clean. Omar is relaxing, waiting for the buildup of gas. Dennis is also waiting. He's been anxious, though. He's been anxious to prove himself. Uh, to say that this was just one accident and it won't happen again. Hey, Dennis is up. Here we go. Here it is. The front of you. Waiting, waiting. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh. could not do it. Sorry. No. Oh, what timing. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Lamar, and the crowd goes crazy. <laughs> Lamar gets a six and is right on Dennis's butt, in a matter of speaking. Bullshit. <laughs> A four 
Squire. A four Squire by the Lamar. He gets a five out of it. Fantastic. And that was a good way to begin the fourth quarter. Okay, the score at the end of three quarters was to show Dennis slightly ahead. Okay, the second and third quarter were really close. It was 28 each for those quarters combined. The first quarter, Dennis was a little bit ahead. So the fourth quarter, Lamar starts off hot. Let's see if it continues. All right, all right, all right. Lamar is definitely a fourth quarter type of guy. He gets a two for that, but that's 13 points. And that's just in the fourth quarter. So Lamar is really doing good. Dennis does not look worried at all. Just case around, sarah type Dennis. So there is a protest on the floor, though, that that, uh, that Lamar did, in fact, have a blowout. And we'll get a ruling on that in a little while. Right now, I'd like to talk to you about where Lance is. And again, he still is not here as we take a look at Ike. He's still not here. And, uh, and Dennis says, hi, Mom. <laughs> and uh, he's still being detained at the airport, as far as we know. We don't know if he's been extradited yet. I don't know if they're going to extradite him to Namibia or wherever they send them to Tallinn. Back at the Fumukuo. And as we pan around, we see that Ike has been drinking very heavily since the bow out. And uh, the one good thing is that Ike, while he plays with his Ninja Turtle, is drinking Dreher beer. Dreher. Less filling. Tastes great. Here's Ike's, there's the card that goes to the Fumukuo winner as Ike plays with his Ninja Turtle. Back to Dennis. Dennis is stepping up into the ring. Here we go. <coughs> not bad. Not bad at all. I think Dennis was caught by surprise on that first one. And the judge says a four. Okay. Dennis has got a four. And that's his first score of the... <laughs> Why control? Why control? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic, a five, all right. Oh, really, great control there. Dennis enjoyed that one. God. Dennis is getting up. Oh, no, no, he's down. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is on demo. I'm having a reason. Hold on. Dennis was sending. Let me go. Three. That's right. I think it's a three. Okay, as I was saying, the official words. Okay, the official word on Lance Brown is that he has been expelled from the country. They did not let him in, and obviously he cannot participate in Pumo Kuro. Um, we don't know exactly all the details, but he has been expelled. We know that for sure. Um, if we get any more details on the story, we'll let you know. 20 minutes left to go, Fumo Kuro. This is the old duck tail. <laughs> I have a judge. We'll give him a four. I think. Alright, four. He already did it. We'll give him a four. Okay. Judge Ike is gone. Oh no! Somebody stole the judge. Mm. Well, there's a break in the action. There are 13 minutes left to go in Fumokuro 89. Dennis is behind in the fourth quarter and needs a couple of big sevens. But Dennis's problem is, with those sevens, also comes more room for the stuff that they don't want it to escape. And Dennis faces that problem, but he, did, well, he has to look at it this way. It's either do or die right now. So whether he's disqualified or he loses, it doesn't matter. So Dennis needs to get a couple of sevens in there to catch up to Lamar and make Puma Kool 89 come right down to the wire. We'll see what happens in just a few minutes. Back to you, Dave. Dennis is finally ready with eight minutes Quiet left to go with Puma Kool.
Down and that's it. All right, Dennis. All right. And Ike has moved over, so now we'll go to Ike over here, and he gives us a four. So Dennis with a four, and that helps him, but time's running out on Dennis. Best part before Fumo Cool ends is Dennis Vicente. What a trooper! <laughs> pooper. Pooper trooper. <laughs> Don't let that part go. Concentration. <laughs> oh, you might have heard uh, Dennis's coach Michael. He did finally make it in from Italy. He missed that last fight out, but he's here now to help cheer Dennis on. There he is, right there. Uh, I was in. Uh, I think it was 1913 Fumo Kulo. <laughs> 1913. I've been teaching since then, and uh, Dennis has been my pet. But uh, the Kimishi clan uh, with uh, Lamar there has done, done pretty good so far. No doubt. Done a good job, Mike. Good job. Thank you. Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> the old spinner didn't make it. Disgust on Dennis's face. Don't do that shit when I got melted on your face. Here's Lamar. Here you go. Oh, he bulls the power. Not much power there though. Oh, look at that brown, hold on. Look at the brown spot on the back. There is a protest in, but I believe it's gonna be disallowed. I think Lamar just rubbed up against Dennis's blowout. <laughs> <laughs> two. Okay, two for Lamar. <laughs> Never will really help. Here's Dennis. No, Dennis is gone. <laughs> back up, look out. Good blowout. You didn't see the mark on the back of Lamar. But it matches the same picture. No points for that one. <laughs> no points for that one? No, he got points. Three points. I did? No, the one I cut in the chair. He didn't get any points for that. I know. Oh, I just picked up. I didn't hear no... Yeah, this is a blowout to the end. They didn't try. Right now, they're going to finish. Dennis complaining about the officiating now. Seven minutes left. Not bad. No, no, a couple of extra moves there, and then a little far at the end. Okay, a five. <laughs> okay. And the crowd really cheering this on. As they can tell. He should have been in the bathroom. He should have been. Oh, oh. We have to get Ike to check that. And he's dropping the lid, folks. <laughs> he dropped the load now, he's dropping the lid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I think Lamar he has to win the bag. Even it. if Dennis gets back out here, the time on the clock is just not enough for Dennis to come back. Only four minutes left. And Dennis yeah, is way behind. They are claiming that the Fumo Kuro medal is his. The brown is his for the second time this year. Only sheer speed kept Dennis from being disqualified that time. He ran to the bathroom. His sport takes endurance and speed. Steadily heading toward the toilet. Dennis is up again. Oh, he's trying again. And oh, nothing, no. Oh. And that might have been his last hurrah. That might have been his last hurrah as we close in on the clock. Lamar again exercising. Hoping for that one last. Three minutes left. One per minute. What am I worried about? Oh, this is in the bag. So close and yet so far. It looked like Dennis was really going to take it in the third quarter. He was really pulling for his beauties. Lamar is, should be called Mr. Steady now from now on. Here you see the time. When it gets to the 11, it's over. A minute left to go. The agony, the ecstasy. Dennis Pacini, the agony. Lamar and Wilkie, the ecstasy. And Lance Brown will be pissed. Lance was leading after the first quarter. But his inability to get into this country, 
to complete the fumo cool and really gonna make him mad. <coughs> well, thanks to Jim. <coughs> and thanks to Tom for their work on the cameras. Thanks, guys. Lamar is back. He's strutting. He's strutting. 50 seconds left to go. <coughs> no timeouts remaining. Call a timeout. Call a timeout. He has no timeouts remaining, I said. <coughs> All right, the two contestants. The two contestants will go and shake hands first. The two contestants shake in the middle of the ring. It was a great match. Both of them admit to it. Lamar again is the champion, and we'll be right back with the presentation of the play. Okay. Anytime you're ready, Mike. Ike. <laughs> We're getting ready for the presentation of the brown to Lamar Wilkie. Here we go. This is Sweden. We're going to present the medal. Here it is. The brown medal. Lamar work hard. <laughs>